In this video I'll reveal one of the best and simple trading strategies we have found to generate money consistently. It's the fourth strategy in our seven strategies that stood the test of time series. The strategy has a minimalistic concept. When it's well executed and spoused with a solid mindset, it will certainly generate substantial profits for both amateurs and professionals. What that means is that this strategy does not require a vast knowledge of technical analysis. It only demands discipline for its execution. We're going to go direct to the point. Go to indicators in your trading platform and add the Ichimoku Cloud. Don't worry if you don't know how to use this indicator. You don't need to know anything other than how to execute the steps cleanly. Now, uncheck everything other than the lagging span and leading span B. I know that if you're not familiar with the cloud, these names may intimidate you at first, but don't worry about it. For this strategy to function properly and generate huge profit for you, you don't really need to know how these levels are calculated. However, if you do want to achieve mastery on the use of this clever indicator, I made a video named Ichimoku Cloud Mastery where you can learn everything there is to know about the indicator. I'll put the link in the description below so you can watch it right after you are done learning this strategy. As I'm sure you know, the three principles required for any strategy are a defined approach to enter positions, a defined approach to exit those positions, and a clear way to manage the trade. So let's go one by one. We enter long when the lagging line crosses span B. Secondly, we place our stops at the lowest of the two previous relative lows. Thirdly, we manage the stops in accordance with our size matters video. I strongly suggest you watch that video to better understand the way we manage our trades. For now, let's look at a hypothetical scenario. Here is a 60 minute chart of the S&P mini. We're going to play a hypothetical trade here you can see the lagging line just close or just cross the span B. So at this point, we have the justification to go along right at this price, right at the close of this bar. So we could buy three units there. We always trade in three units. And so now let's continue playing this trade so you can see how it plays out. We're gonna make it a little bit faster and so let's look at it. Look at the lagging line. As you can see, the lagging line remain above the span B line. All we need to do in order to exit this trade is for the lagging line to cross below the span B line. And that hasn't happened so far. As you can see, just based on this simple strategy, the profits could be simply humongous. And we can stay in the trade regardless the price has been trading sideways. You can see all this time prices have been sideways, but we have no doubt on when to exit or when to enter the trade. Because we already know the span B is below prices and the lagging line is above span B. So we are on a long position and as you can see as for right now all this time each one of these bars is an hour bar you can see that it stopped right there simply because this is the last price that we have today and you can see the amount of profit that the strategy could generate. It has not given us a signal to exit the trade yet. Now let's consider the following. This trade is a hypothetical one. It functions very well, as I just showed you, and it would be great if we are to trade swings in relatively large time frames, probably above an hourly chart, four hour charts, etc. But if you want to day trade, this approach will probably not be good because you will encounter the proverbial whipsaw when the lagging span crosses span B up and down. In order to reduce this problem, we use a dual frame strategy. That means that to enter the position, 
we need two steps instead of one. First, we need to see the lagging line penetrating the span B in a 15 minute chart, exactly as we did in our previous example by using a 15 minute chart. But that's not all. Second step is that we need to check in an hourly chart if the position of prices in regard to span B is favorable to our trade. What do I mean by favorable? Let's say that we want to enter long, not only the lagging line should be crossing over span B from below in the 15 minute chart, but prices must be above the span B in an hourly chart, or the distance from prices to span B must be large. That will indicate the odds will favor our long position. Let's look at an example in a different market. This is a 15 minute chart of the dollar yen. Notice that right here where I put the circle, it shows you the lagging line crossing the span B. Okay, that means prices are about here. So we would be entering the trade, let's say at about 147.92. Now, we need to wait for lagging line to cross below the span B in order to signal that we should exit the trade. In the meantime, all we need to do is to enter long here and place our stop where, well, we look for two previous relative lows. In this case, we enter long here. Where are the two previous relative lows? Well, we have one here where we have a bar on the right side and on the left side with the lows of the bar above the low of the relative low bar right here. And here we have another one where we have a bar making a low and a bar on the right and a bar on the left, both having the lows of those bars above the low of the relative low bar. This is the second relative low bar that is the lowest. So we would place our stop right here. Okay, so we place our stop right here, we enter here and we go long. Now we stay in this long position until the lagging line crosses span B here. Notice that that would be precisely about 100 pips for a single strategy. Now, we said that to enter the position we needed two steps. The first one was the lagging line penetrating the span B on the 15 minute chart. That was the first step. And then we needed to check on the hourly chart if we actually have a reason to go along in that position, okay? And for that, we need the hourly chart to show us that prices and the lagging line are already above the span B line. Or, remember this condition, or prices are far apart from the span B, which would guarantee that there will be a tendency for prices to go back to it. Okay, so let's go to the hourly chart and check where this circle is. So notice that the circle is right here on the hourly chart. That means that prices are still below span B and the lagging line is also still below the span B. So can we enter this position? The answer is yes. And the reason is notice the huge distance that prices have reached from the span B. This huge distance almost always tells you that prices will have the tendency to go back to that span B line. So you can see here separated the most and start trying to get its way back there. So right here was the entry in the 15 minute chart. We can go back and see it. Right here is the entry that we saw before and you can see that it justified the going long and you can see that just that gave us 100 pips of profits. Now we can see a little bit more of the strategy in this same chart. Let's take a look at more data so you can see the tremendous possibilities that this strategy affords you to do. Look at this. Here we have a scenario in which the lagging line penetrated the span B from above. Okay, so that would happen around here. 
So let's say that we go short here again at around 150.70 or 150.80. The lagging line stays below this band B and while that happens, we will stay short. Okay, so now we are short, we stay short and the lagging line is not giving us a sign that it would go and cross this band B. Notice that right here, the lagging line attempted to go above the span B, but it didn't do it. So in such cases, we have a tremendous opportunity to actually capitalize on the position and add to our trade. For instance, in this case, when the lagging line goes below the previous lows, we are justified to again add to our position. So we will be adding around here and we will continue being short there and continue being short until we see a sign that the lagging line is about to penetrate the span B. And that doesn't happen until right here, where we would exit our short position and consult with our hourly chart to see if indeed we could now go long. As we showed before in this particular example, prices were far away from the span B on the hourly chart, which justified not only that we exited the short position we were in, but that we also start a new long position. So now let's reconsider the whole strategy. We enter by using the crossing of the lagging line over the span B line. How do we exit? Easy we take the opposite signal. If we are in a short position, we exit it as the lagging line penetrates the span B line from below. If we are in a long position, we exit it when the lagging line crosses the span B line from above. That's it, very simple stuff. Finally, the way to manage this position is also simple. Place a stop below the two previous relative lows if you are taking a long position or above the two relative highs if you are taking a short position. For managing the proper size to use during this strategy, I suggest you study our video Size Matters, where we dive into the details on how to use size to completely eliminate the risk of a position and increase our winning to lose ratio. As you can see, we went through lots of data involving many trading hours and the strategy works and it works marvels. If you have any questions, don't forget the Wednesday live streaming where we will go through your questions, answers and experiences. Now, let's go and make some money. Happy trading and I'll see you on the next video.